A hypermature senile cataract with a very tense capsular bag, 2.8 mm keratomentis at the anterior sclera, goes across the limbus, enters the AC in the peripheral cornea. Globe is fixated with a 1 2 fixation forceps at the limbus, trypan blue staining. The stain is aspirated with the Simcoe cannula. AC fills the eye. A 23 gauge needle aspirates the loose anterior cortex. A blunt keratome enlarges the opening. And one side of inside of the incision is enlarged. It's a hemitrapezoid. This is to facilitate adjustment of the SIA. The capsulorexis is larger. The visco is infused into the eye repeatedly. This is the one person lignocaine. Nucleus is rotated in the capsular bag and is prolapsed into the anterior chamber by, by manually using a 25 gauge cannula and a Sinsky hook. One pole is lifted up and using it as a liver, the entire nucleus comes out. It is not a very large nucleus. The size of the rexis should be adequate to allow the nuclear prolapse. If the nucleus is large, you need to do a larger CCC or give a relaxing cut. So it's tried to be bisected with the shaft of a 25 gauge cannula, but it's not happening because of the hardness. A 45 degree bent cystotome is used to score the nucleus. The cystotome is mounted on a 2cc lower lock syringe which is filled with HPMC and the HPMC is continuously infused in front of the nucleus initially uh, with this, uh, through the cystotome and now through the 25 gauge cannula so that endothelium is well protected against the moving nuclear ME piece. Cortical aspiration is done systematically as you cannot see the peripheral uh, lodging of cortical chunks, uh, a right and left Simcoe candle is used as spread the left over cortex. Some amount of cortex, loose cortex will be there uh, all around. The inspection of the capsular bag is done using a uh, ball dialer. As you can see on the right lower side, there is little bit of cortex which is aspirated and a lens is implanted in the capsular bag. This technique is a very safe technique, is protective to the endothelium maximally. The zonules are weak in such cases and uh, there is hardly any pull or push to the zonules in this technique. So zonal dehiscence is extremely rare and uh, small people does not bother Inspection of the cortex in the periphery is very important and to minimize the post-operative inflammation. Post-operative rise in the pressure is minimized by aspirating the entire viscoelastic from the capsular bag, from the angle region and from the endothelium and from the anterior chamber. Thank you.